All right, so yeah, guys, uh, today, so I've just, I've, I've, as I just said, uh, we are going to, to look at how to work with uh, tabbed activities in Android. And more specifically, I'll use an example of WhatsApp. You see the way you can navigate through the WhatsApp screens. You are swiping from the left to the right and back. Yeah, so basically, how do you work with a mobile application that has got such like an interface, yeah? So without wasting any time, guys, let's simply click on on start a new Android Studio project. And uh, uh, on this template section, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I know we've now so far worked with basic activity, we've worked with empty activity, we've worked with the navigation drawer activity. So today I want us to work with this activity called tabbed activity, tabbed activity, yeah. So right away, let me simply hit on a next. Then, yeah, right away on the application section, or, uh, section where we need to give the name, I can even just give my application name as my, my first, my first tabbed activity app. Or I can just call it my first tabbed app, my first tabbed app. Yeah, so let me just call my application as my first tabbed app, then simply hit on a finish. Yeah, finish. All right, so yeah, we are good, we are good. So at least our project or our application has already been created. So right away, we need to understand a few things. So ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I know right now what I'm looking at right now is something called the fragment main. So don't worry about this one right now. Let me just right away take you guys to the, to the uh, activity main, to the activity main. So let me just double click on the activity main so that you guys can see how the activity main looks like before we start. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is how our application is going to look like. But so far, we need to at least uh, see a few, a few like uh, titles right here. Like in WhatsApp, we will have a section for maybe chats, a section for maybe statuses, then a section for maybe calls. Yeah, so we need to implement, we need to implement uh, such like a view inside our application. And so in this class, specifically when we are working with tabbed activities, we are going to work with, uh, with, with, with fragments. We are going to work with fragments, not as, uh, as working with activities per se. So I mentioned to you guys that a fragment is more of a, 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 sub, a, a sub page inside the main page. So like, for example, we can have a main page, like say the main activity, then inside the main activity, we have like four, sub pages like so yeah so the the maybe the chat uh, fragment maybe the calls fragment maybe statuses fragment and so on and so forth but now ladies and gentlemen we really we really would like now to implement this so that we see it how uh, exactly they're going to appear so right away guys let's just simply proceed to our java folder and look at how these guys are really uh, wishing that we implement this kind of a thing so right away let's go to our java folder then as i mentioned to you ladies and gentlemen i'm really not going to be working with these test files like as you can see here yeah this is com.king my first tabbed app then in brackets android test so anything that has got a test in a bracket at the end i'm going to do away with it so i really don't like working with the test files because they are literally doing nothing on my application so let me just delete them right away uh -huh. then yeah here are two more that i really don't wish to have on my application so let me just do away with them let me just simply do away with them 
All right. So that now, ladies and gentlemen, let me just proceed to my now main package. The main application package is right here now. So that now, when I get here, I have my main activity. So on my main activity, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, you might be looking at a code that you might not understand. But don't worry. Let me just take you through so you can see exactly what is happening. So these guys are expecting that we are going to have this one page called the main activity, but inside the main activity, we are going to have different sections. Those sections are what we are calling the fragments. No wonder, no wonder they are using something called, let me just uh, move this one down a little bit. So no wonder they are using something called a sections pager adapter. So a sections pager, this is the uh, this is the file that is going to be in charge of arranging our sub pages on our application this section's pager. No wonder, no wonder whatever the user is going to see, so something called the view, the view pager. So this view pager is going to use the section's pager. So it is, uh, it is now uh, brilliant enough if we simply try to look at uh, this section pager. So first of all, where? Where is this section pager, ladies and gentlemen? So the section's pager is inside this ui.main file inside the ui.main file, we have this file called sections pager adapter. This is what is going to do the magic for us, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just get inside the sections pager and take a look at what is there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, as you can see on the sections pager, they're trying to tell us that we need to give our application the titles, the tab titles at the top there. Like for example, when you are on WhatsApp, I'm very sure when you are swiping through, you need to, uh, I'm very sure you will be seeing titles up there, maybe statuses, calls, charts, and so on and so forth. So we also need to set, we also need to set that. We, we also need to set that. Then uh, we also need like say down here, we need to specify how many, how many slides are going to be inside our page. Right now, these guys have already specified two, but for us in this class, guys, let's just work with three. So let me just change this one to be to be three, so that I can I can show, so that I can show I can show I can show three total pages. Meanwhile, these guys were showing two total pages, but for me, I want to show three. So I've just changed that number to three. So that now, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm talking about showing three more pages. Can I just create them right away? So to create those pages, in fact, now we are not just going to create activities, but we are going to create something called fragments, fragments. So inside our UI.main, let me just right click, then yeah, I'm going to create a new fragment. So yeah, right here on the UI.main, let me right click, then just create a new, a new fragment. Where is the fragment? It's right here new fragment then ladies and gentlemen let me just use a frag a fragment blank so that i can put there my own stuff yeah so fragment blank so right away this one i can even give it a name maybe chats fragment we simply want to, to do something that ish is that looks like our whatsapp page yeah so no problem so maybe chats fragment chats fragment yeah chats fragment is fine then yeah we can simply hit on finish finish Yeah, so the chats fragment is created. Ladies and gentlemen, don't worry about a lot of this code because most of it we are even going to delete. We are not going to be working with all of this. So don't worry, relax and stay put. Yeah, so right away we can, yeah, we have already created the chats fragment. So let's create another fragment uh, for maybe the, 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 uh, the statuses. So just right click on your UI main, right click, say new fragment then yeah, fragment sorry then yeah fragment blank fragment blank then again we can rename this one to maybe say status fragment maybe status fragment then just hit on a finish hit on a finish
then yeah so our status fragment is already done guys so let's create one last more uh, last one so let's all, uh, also create a new a new fragment then uh well sorry fragment then fragment blank let's just create another one called maybe calls fragment yeah maybe the calls fragment calls fragment then just hit on a finish hit on a finish All right, so ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have already created the three fragments. We have created the calls fragment, we have created the charts fragment, and we have created the status fragment right there. So let's just go to our sections page up, uh, file, our sections page up, and try to arrange those files and try to arrange them. So right away, let me just double click on the sections page up. So here is our sections page up. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, we need to give the titles, the titles. So you see right now, the titles are just tab one and tab two. But for us, we want to give the titles maybe uh, our, our first, our first uh, section will be for the charts. So our title, we need to change this one to charts. Then the second one, we also need to change it to, 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 to statuses. Then the third one, we also need to create a third one here called, uh, called maybe, uh, uh, calls, calls. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, when I simply, uh, if I wanted to change this tab one to a different thing, when I simply click on it, these guys are telling me the text that has been here. Like for example, also this tab two, when I click on it, they're telling me this text is coming from strings file, strings file. And inside the strings file, there is a name file, a, a, a file called tab text one. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just proceed to the strings file and try to see what exactly is right here. So when we go to our values folder, because we have done this before, guys, I know you know. So on our values folder, there's this file called strings. strings. So let's, let's uh, click on strings. Yeah, so sorry for the interruption. Someone was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, had unmuted the audio. So right away on our strings, right away on our strings, on our strings file, on our strings file, you see tab text one, it has got a name called tab one. No, we want to change it to, we want to change it to, to maybe say charts. Yeah, charts. Is this how to write the word chat? No, chat. Chat. Yeah, start like a, a chat. Yeah, chats. Then uh, the second one, the second one is supposed to be for the for the statuses. So we can just even give it a title of status. Then we need to create the third one. Let's just create the third one. So let's just copy these and duplicate it down there. Let's just copy that and paste it down there, guys. Then right away, let me change this to tab text three. At least let's just change it to three. Then we can give it a name. We can give it a name like maybe say calls, calls. Yeah, calls. at least, at least we have, we have ensured that there are three now. We have the tab text one is for chats. The title for the, the tab text two is status. Then the tab text three is calls. We have at least ensured that this is is, is now represented. So let's just go back to our sections page, guys, and give these titles now. So our sections page, here it is. So on our sections page, yeah, let's just still maintain, let's still maintain the, the tab text one is going to be for the first uh, section. Tab text two is going to be for the second section. Then we need to add the third one. So the third one is supposed to be um, our, sorry, happening r dot string dot string dot tab text three yeah we are going to use tab text three tab text three 
Yeah, tab take three. Then right away, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we have three titles. We have already set them. Then we are going to allow a maximum of three pages. That is what we desire. But again, now we simply now, instead of just returning some, some section number, like say maybe section number one, section number two, section number three, let's return let's display the actual pages so instead of doing this guys we are simply going to use this position to check if if someone so at position zero what do we display at position one what do we display and at position two what do we display so right away let me just do away with this code then do my custom code to display the pages so uh, right away this is how we display now our 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 fragments so we see now uh, return when when we use our when statement to check when the position 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 is zero what do we display we display the chart the chart the charts fragment that's how we display it then when the position is one just display the uh, status fragment and we also require a default so a default on our end statement is else so else that means the else will take the third position for for the for the for the fragment the third fragment which is the calls fragment calls fragment calls fragment so ladies and gentlemen at least at the very first position which is position zero at the very first position which is position zero it is going to be it is going to be charts fragment the second one status as fragment the third one uh, calls fragment and that's how we have even arranged the the titles the title one is for charts title two is for the status and the uh, title three is for the calls and remember yeah it is on an array it is on an array no wonder we are starting with position zero position one and then any other is going to be the third one any other is going to be the third one then yeah so that's how we are getting the the page get the page titles then fix them up there using the title positions using the title positions yeah using the title position so ladies and gentlemen at least we have done that so let's just like you see for the charts fragment for the charts uh, for the chart let's start for, for, with the calls fragment so for the calls fragment it is ladies and gentlemen it is using it is using fragment calls inside the layouts file inside the layout file but you see i don't really intend to use a lot of this code right here in fact ladies and gentlemen i'm going to do away with a lot of this code so on this page i'm going to do away with um, I'm going to do away with with the entire of this one here. I don't really want to use this. Uh, I don't really want to use this. Let me just leave the fragment here. Then uh, I, on this one here, I don't really want to use the entire of this. Then the on create has to remain. Then also I don't want to to use this like that. I don't want to use a lot of so that now finally i just have this code right here that is going to work similar to the charts fragment charts fragment i also don't want to use this i also don't want to use this i also don't want to use this then uh similarly i don't want to use this all right yeah so i uh, uh that's good that's good so the last one is the statuses uh fragment so i honestly don't also want to use this i also don't want to use this i also don't want to use this i also don't want to use this so that clearly i just have on my view just display the fragment status the fragment status then for uh, the charts, fragment charts. Then for the uh, calls, fragment calls. Yeah, that's it. So that now let me go on each one of these layout files and just for a start, just implement a background color that will appear so that we know we are on a specific page. 
So right away, let me just go and start with fragment calls inside the layouts folder, guys. So fragment calls. So on the fragment calls, let me not edit anything here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just give it some nice background color that will show that we are actually on that page. So let me just give it some nice background color. Background. Let me start with a hash, follow through by any three numbers of my choice. Any three, yeah. So <clears throat> just to change the background. So let me use, uh, which one? Let me even use that. Yeah, that is the background on the fragment calls. On the fragment charts, let me also change a background. Nothing more, nothing more. Just to say uh, background. Then start with a hash, follow through by any three numbers. Then right away, let me just change a color to maybe that. Then uh, on the fragment status, let me also change a background color. Change a background color. Start with a hash, follow through by any three numbers. Then right away, ladies and gentlemen, let me just uh, give it which color? That, that, yeah, that color. So right away, ladies and gentlemen, once we have done that, at least on the sections page, on the sections page, we have, let me just double click the sections page. We have specified the titles up here. Also, we have specified the fragments at each position. Then we are allowing at least three, three of them. So that means we have already created the fragment inside our UI main. So here is our calls fragment, charts fragment, and status fragment, which are definitely using the layout files fragment calls, fragment charts, and fragment status. So ladies and gentlemen, let's try to run this application and see how we are going to, how it is going to appear before we take, uh, we take anything far. So let's just click on a run, then see, see. All right, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, clearly you guys have seen exactly, exactly how that application is working. But uh, just before we, 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 we wrap up everything, we want to continue by at least making our user interface look a little bit much better, a little bit much better. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just go to our main, our, our activity main a little bit, our activity main. So you see this part called my tabbed, my first tabbed app, I want to at least also uh, do something on it. So instead of it just remaining whatever it is, let me stretch it a little bit. Let me stretch it a little bit to, to the end like this. Yeah, to the end like that. Are you sure? Let me pick up yeah so yeah a little bit like that so i've actually moved it to the center my first app then uh right away right away this is this is the car layout that is displaying our 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 charts our our titles this car the one that i'm i'm pointing right now this this car panel right here is the one that is displaying our our titles charts uh status and calls this is the one that is displaying so we might want to change a few things about it then also uh, let me just uh, make this a little bit wide, yeah, a little bit wide like that. Then let me uh, increase increase this one here, a little bit like that. So yeah, this is too too wide. So let me just uh, take it back to just uh, where 
there yeah let me make it appear like that guys then ladies and gentlemen let me simply let me simply go and change change the color the colors right up there so the colors how i'm going to change them remember we need simply need to go to the values folder there's a folder called colors whereby we are going to change our color primary and the color primary dark yeah so the color primary so the color primary dark let's use which color let's use uh, huh. let's use this color accent here let's use color yeah yeah let's just use color accent the color primary dark this color primary dark let's use this color accent then the color primary the color primary let's use a white a white kind of a color is it going to work like that yeah a white kind of a color so white color is f f f f f f six f's is a white color then uh this color accent we can also use a white a white kind of a color then uh yeah color primary dark then uh then this color let's also go to the main activity and use it on the on this part where is the activity main let's also use it on oh my so let's also change these to a different color are we changing these colors let me go back and see color primary let me see if i change the color primary what will happen to the activity main my first tab activity i want this one to be white so let me just go to the activity main take a look at something here this upper upper main what's happening on this uh, upper main so can i give it a background color this uh, upper left let me give it some nice background some nice background hash followed through by that kind of a color yeah let, let me give it like that then uh let me give my let me give my color primary this color primary a white color let me see how it's going to appear yes i wanted such like a thing i wanted such exactly such like a thing I wanted such like a thing so that yeah i have my my primary dark up there appearing like that then this part right here is white because this is the part that is displaying our titles chat blah blah and blah yeah then uh -huh. also this part here instead of using a white color let me also just give it uh not that color let me also just give it this color let me see let me see how it's going to appear yeah that's good at least even this is in green yeah i've actually changed it so yeah it's appearing nicely like that so at least it is appearing like that guys so whatever we are going to do again is inside the fr the fragments themselves so fragment calls let's remove this background color let's just remove the background color then yeah instead of using this text view guys let's uh do some some, some something uh, nicer like a list let's just do something like a list yeah so the list that we are going to do right away we are simply first of all going to start by dragging and dropping here on the fragment calls on the fragment do we start with fragment calls or fragment charts whichever way that we start we have started so it doesn't need to bother you in any way so uh fragment as a matter of fact let's start with fragment charts fragment charts because that's the first one that we are going to see the fragment charts so fragment charts we are going to do away with it 
with the text you write here, then instead of using the fragment layout, yes, it's going to be right there as it is, the frame layout, but we are going to drag and drop here a linear layout orientation particle before we drag and drop a list view. So right away, let me just hit on a design, then drag and drop a list view. Let me drag and drop a list view. List view. A list view. Let me drag and drop it inside there. A list view inside there. Yeah, I've dragged and dropped a list view right here. As, he, as you can see, it is right here. So let me give it an ID. This list view, let me just give it an ID as list, maybe M list charts yeah let me give it an id m list charts let me give it an id m list charts yeah let me give it an id m list charts then when i simply switch to the text side of the code let me do away with this background color i really don't need this background color right now i really don't need that background color right now yeah so that when i just go on the design side yeah here is my list here is my list. So M list chart. So let me just go and create an array that is going to be displayed right here, right here. So right away, let me simply go to the strings and create an array, a string array that is going to be appearing there, guys, as usual. So uh, string array, string array. I can even just call maybe maybe chart, chart underscore list, maybe chart list. Then let me have like just say maybe 10 names of the people on the on the chat item times 10 of them or even uh, 15 of them then we can have uh king fraser emmanuel matilda uh who else esther jadida nicole Penelope, Abdul, Brian, again Brian, then on oh no, a Brian. Brian, then Brian, then who else? Um someone like say Israel. Uh, Israel, then we have uh, Selin, Selin, Anthony, then who else, who else right there, Joseph. Yeah, so let me use those names for the chat list, for the chat list, then again, yeah, yeah, on the chart list, let's use that. Then let's go on the fragment. This is on the fragment charts. Let's proceed to this list and use them and use them. So uh, let me just switch on the text side. Then on this list, let's say the entries. The entries are on at array, at array chart list, chart list. So that when I hit on my design here, here they are, here they are. So only that they are not appearing here, but when I run on my application, they are going to appear, guys. Yeah, that should not worry you at all, at all, at all, at all. Then, yeah, we can go on the fragment, on the fragment, uh, on the fragment uh, status, status. So on the fragment status, let me do away with the background color. Uh, then, yeah, right away, let me just do away with this text view, drag and drop a linear layout right here. Let me just drag and drop a linear layout. Uh, on the design, the design. Let me drag and drop a linear layout of orientation vertical here. Linear layout of orientation vertical. Then on the linear layout, on the on the status, this is status. On the status, guys, let's just drag and drop an image, probably, just to show like maybe we are looking at a status or something. Yeah. So let's just drag and drop an image view here that we will display an image. So uh, which image are we going to use? Let me go and look for an image, copy it, paste into, into the drawables folder and use it. So let me look for uh, inside the downloads. Have I ever downloaded anything? Yeah, let me, uh, 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 Mobilis logo, 
let me use king king image let me just copy this king image right here paste it inside the drawables folder here is my drawables right click paste that image inside there then let me yeah simply hit on an okay then let me rename this image remove this number maybe let me just remove the number and say maybe king img per se king img like that King IMG, so that when I drag and drop an image view on the fragment section, when I drag and drop an image view here, let me just let me just use this king image. Perfect, perfect. Let it just appear there like that. King, king is appearing nicely, guys. King is appearing nicely. Uh, can I can I stretch it somehow? Uh, like that like that yeah it's appearing nicely like that guys then so let me just go to the to the fragment calls again we can have like a list of calls here yeah like a list of calls yes. or maybe on, on this fragment calls let's just use two or three buttons so on the fragment calls let me just drag and drop a linear layout here uh, a linear layout uh -huh. So on the fragment calls, guys, let's just drag and drop a linear layout here. So uh, layout, linear layout, who is the linear layout uh, right here? Linear layout, drag and drop it uh, right there. Then the linear layout, let me just put there like two buttons. Yeah, maybe just for example, as, in, as an example, let's just have two buttons or even one button. No, no, no big deal. Just one button. Uh, uh huh. Then maybe this button. Let's just give it an ID as maybe uh, M B T N call. Then the text that is on this button is maybe say call. Yeah. Probably that's not how it looks like in WhatsApp, but we are just trying to use different elements on this screen so that you guys can see how exactly do you <clears throat> how exactly do you implement. Do you implement a button? How exactly do you implement? Uh, how exactly do you implement an image in a fragment and so on and so forth? So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, can we just try to run this application and see how it's going to appear this time round? Yeah, let's try to run. Let's try to run and see.
Yeah, so uh, our application was running correctly, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, there's an issue with colors right here. Yeah, right here. So we just hope that will work. Just hope that that color thing will work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just hope this will work. Yeah, when we run our application, we hope the text color on the tabs will be black. Yeah, so that it can appear on a white background. Yeah, so let's hope like that. So ladies and gentlemen, let me just take a minute and sort a few of your errors as we continue. Uh, so, uh, who is this? Brian Ruff? Are, are you there? Please un un unmute your audio so we can communicate somehow. Ruff, are you there? Hi. Ruff. Ukopale Kweli. Yes. Yeah, so uh are you are you are we can I stop the share screen? Yeah. Okay, so let me end the share. So you remember your record. Oh, sorry. So yeah, so at least guys we can now continue. So right now, at least on the fragment calls, we have a button call on the fragment charts. We have an uh, we have an a list a list of chats uh, a chat uh, a list of people with which which we can in, in, uh, in, uh, we can we can actually start a chat with then uh, on the statuses we have an image view so on each of these things I just want us to set listeners yeah just to set listeners on them so that we know how to set listeners in. Uh, in a fragment, not in an activity per se, in a fragment, because a fragment is like an activity within an activity. So how do we set a listener? 
how do we set on this? So let's just start with the charts, a charts fragment, which has got a list view. So let's just go on the charts fragment. So on the charts fragment, remember, uh, we are using a list view. So fragment charts is right here. We are using a list view, which has got an ID called mList charts. mList charts. Yeah, mList charts. M list charts. So right away, let's just go and find uh, 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 display something here. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on our charts fragment, we are returning. We are returning an inflator, an inflator that is just inflating this fragment inside our activity. It's not like this is the entire activity. No, this something. This class called inflator. This inflator is the one that is inflating this layout inside our activity. Our activity yeah yeah so right away ladies and gentlemen so let's put this inflator on a variable let's just uh, put this on a variable let me just take it from here put it on a variable like say var maybe inflator or let me most people like call it root so let me also call it root equals to that then I can just simply say return root return root return root like that Return root. Then right away, right away to find our M list. You see, initially, initially we could just say M list, M list dot set on item click listener. Yeah, M list, uh, uh, M list charts dot set on item click listener. But when we are in a fragment, let me discourage you from doing that because you are not directly connected to an activity directly you are actually on an activity through a fragment so right away you need you also need to 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 attach it to this route because this route is the one that is taking us to the to the to the activity through this fragment charts yeah so right away i can say now var maybe my list my list equals to equals to root root at two no, root our root dot find view by id you use this function called find view by id then the id of the list find view by id then the id of the list id of the list is r dot uh, id dot m list chart m list charts m list charts and remember this this is asking that we must we must declare. This is asking us that we must declare this uh, variable list as an object instant, uh, an object in an in a list view, in a list view class. So we must come here and say this is a list view, list view, a list view. We must come here and say this is a list view, like that. Yeah, we must say that so that now right away. Right away, we can now say my list, my list uh, dot set on item click listener. On item click listener. Yeah, on item click listener like that. Dot set on item click listener. So that right away, we can now simply say now, uh, maybe we simply want to click on an item. Maybe when we click on an item, just toss to the name of that item. So var item equals to uh, parent. We have done this before, so I know you guys can do that. Parent dot get item at position. Get item at position. Then the position is this position. Get item at position position then to stream dot to stream to stream then right away we can simply toast a message this time around we are just toasting a message so toast toast dot make text toast dot make text toast dot make text so if we were in an activity we could just say the context is this comma then the text is our variable item our variable item yeah we could do such like a thing then maybe finish by saying uh toast toast dot length yeah toast dot length maybe say length long then just say dot show dot show we could do such like a thing ladies and gentlemen 
don't show. We will do such like a thing. But this is no longer possible in a fragment. You see, it is already giving an exception right here. It is rendering an exception. So this is impossible in a, in a fragment. We are not on an activity. So the context is we simply need to tell it to find an activity. So just give it an activity like that. Yeah. So wherever you are, you are on an activity. So it will know wherever it is itself. It will know wherever it is itself. Then we can just toast, toast the item that we have already taken down. And in front, we can just say maybe item, click, click like that. Then, yeah, that is just what we wanted to do on this one here. Then for the one for the calls, for the calls, for the calls, so activity calls. So this button, we can also set an on click listener. So for the calls fragment right here, we can also put, we can also put uh, this inflator on a variable, cut this, then let's just put this uh, var root equals to, we put it right there, guys. Then right away, we return the root. We just return the root. We return the root. So that we can say now var uh, maybe call, call btn, call btn, which is a button which is a button, we need to, to specify that is a button, equals to root dot find view by ID. Find view by ID. Find view by ID. Then R dot ID dot our BTN, our MBTN, our MBTN, MBTN call. MBTN call, like that. Then so we can set an on-click listener. So we can say now call BTN call btn dot set on click set on click listener dot set on click listener then we can just toast a message toast just toast a message so toast dot make make text then the context we say it is activity then the text is maybe say button clicked let's just say maybe button clicked then we can de declare the log the length of the toast dos, uh, toast dot length length long then dot show dot show dot show yeah dot show like that then for the for the for the uh fragment status for the fragment status is that image view so right away we can also go to call uh to status fragment then also put this one on a variable On a variable, uh, we will definitely return the root. So let's just uh, say now var root e uh, equals to that. Then right away we can now say var maybe img status equals to which is a button. Sorry, which is supposed to be a button. No, an image view. Img status, which is supposed to be an image view an image view equals to now our uh, root root dot find view by id then the r dot id uh, dot img uh, m img m img what m img is supposed to be dot id dot m img dot a m i m g status dot a i m g status then we can say now our i m g i m g status dot set on click listener set on click listener then just uh supposed to be on click listener like that then on this listener we just toast a message toast dot make text toast dot makes text then the context is the activity then uh we can say maybe uh image clicked image click we can even just say image clicked then we specify the length of the toast toast dot length long then just say dot show, dot show, dot show. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, at least we've implemented this, uh, this stuff right here. So let's try to run and see how exactly it's going to look. Let's just try to run this. Let's try to run. So 
yeah, right away. Let me just hit on the run and see how this application is going to 